The four active volcanoes on the Big Island of Hawaii, along with the two extinct volcanoes which once formed it, provide a perfect case study of low silica lavas and shield volcanoes, with at least one eruption on the Big Island almost always being ongoing. These volcanoes, along with the submarine volcano formerly known as Loihi to the southeast and other Hawaiian islands to the west-northwest, form a nearly perfect straight line chain which dates back slightly more than 45 million years. This line represents the effects of the Hawaiian hotspot in the mantle. It created islands above its center while the Pacific plate moved to the west-northwest. Thus, while the plume itself did not move much, the overlying plate did, forming an island and seamount chain. Yet, as we go back to 47 million years ago in this chain, we can see evidence of something quite peculiar. The Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain suddenly turns abruptly northwards, meaning that it retained a southward motion from 82 to 48 million years ago. So, what exactly caused the hotspot chain to suddenly bend? The brief answer is that approximately 47 million years ago, the vast Pacific tectonic plate, which covers about one-fifth of the entire planet, made an abrupt change in motion. Whereas beforehand, it was moving to the north after the sun, an abrupt change, it started moving to the west-northwest. We currently do not know which tectonic plate caused this dramatic shift to occur, the likes of which have not been witnessed in modern times, although some have speculated that an interaction with the Indo-Australian plate, or the fact that the Indian plate collided with the Eurasian plate around the same time, might have caused this. Yet, this is not the full explanation, as it does not quite explain why the Emperor Seamount chain seemingly moved much faster before the bend, and much slower after it occurred. Comparing to other old hotspot chains such as Rurutu, McDonald, and Louisville hotspots, the bends which they produced at about the same time between 42 and 48 million years ago are all less abrupt. Thus, it is suggested before the bend occurred that the Hawaiian hotspot and not just the crust overlying it moved. This is somewhat of a controversial hypothesis. Therefore, the comparatively faster motion of the Hawaiian hotspot track before 47 million years ago was owed to the fact that the deep mantle plume was also moving southwards at a high rate. After the sudden bend occurred, the Hawaiian hotspot continued to move, but no longer in the southern direction. Instead, it varied in several directions, causing the last 47 million years of volcanism to be centered not a perfect straight line, but instead in a mostly straight line with some minor variations. More such unusual abrupt changes in the slow movement of a tectonic plate are certain to have occurred in the distant past, but only the Pacific plate currently contains well-defined examples of this evidenced by hotspot track bends. I must remind my audience that many oceans contain spreading ridges, termed mid-ocean ridges, which are spreading apart and produce new oceanic crust in their center. This crust then continuously is moved until it subducts underneath a tectonic plate, eventually being destroyed altogether. Thus, the vast majority of oceanic crust is no more than 200 million years in age. What I am trying to say is that more such unusual bends would be visible if the rate of overall tectonic plate movement was much slower. As a final note, as of April 11, 2023, both Mauna Loa and the Kilauea volcanoes are not erupting, although Kilauea remains at a yellow alert level. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.